What is one thing you've learned since starting your YouTube channel? Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky and I love all things fragrance, body care, beauty, and I love a good haul. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. So I've been binge watching the new YouTuber tag videos and I feel like it'll be a great way for you guys to get to know me. Those of you who are subscribed, returning viewers, new viewers, any viewers. So if you're interested in getting to know a little bit more about me, then keep on watching. So I'm looking down because I have a bunch of questions up on the screen. I don't know how many of these questions I'll do because I don't know how long it's going to take to answer them, but let's get into it. First, what's your name? It's not Jane. So let's start there. <laughs> My name is Victoria, but call me Vicky. Where are you from? I live in New York State and I'm going to just leave it at that. How old are you? I am the big age of... <laughs> I am 32. What is your channel going to be about? So I like hauls. I have a, a shopping problem. So I like hauling things. Um, I like doing my makeup from time to time. I'm not always good about filming myself doing it, but I'm trying to be better with that. Um, I am newly obsessed with body care. I love fragrance. Um, I like switching up hair every now and then. I am not a wig expert, so please don't expect those kind of videos. Um, but you know, whatever, like the, there's the lifestyle thing. Um, so pretty much things that I may be experiencing that I'm okay to sit in front of the camera and talk about. So, you know, just whatever, really. <laughs> That's kind of what my channel is about, I guess. Does that make sense? Why should anyone subscribe to your channel? Well, I think that you should subscribe to my channel because I feel like I'm just like you. <laughs> I know like everyone probably says that, but I'm like a like notorious YouTube binge watcher. I love sitting around binge watching YouTube videos whenever I get a chance. And um, I feel like I've been doing a lot of things related to the videos I've been watching. I've just never got, like, I've never had the courage to sit in front of the camera and do the same thing. So I guess that will lead into the next question as to why did you start your YouTube channel? So I started it because everything that I've been watching is stuff that I've been doing. And I've, I've been a, like a notorious hauler since I started working. Um, since I had my first job. So probably since I was like 18, I've always hauled things. Like not at this capacity, but like, you know, start out small when I was like 18, 19 in college. Um, go shopping at like Rainbow and Dots and I would pick up the fragrances there. You know, they would be like three for 10 and it would be like the inspired by fragrances. Um, so I was doing that and then, um, I did collect body care then, but I had to get rid of it because I went to study abroad. And then like a couple years later, I started hauling body care again. Um, and then I got rid of it again because I thought I was going to do this whole minimalist thing, but your girl's not a minimalist at all. Okay. Look around. We're, we're not minimal. <laughs> But really, I'm I'm watching all kinds of videos and I'm getting inspired by them. And I always wanted to start one to, you know, give my reviews on things that I was buying. Because I was getting into a lot of things like fit teas and slim, all the, all the, the tea wave that was a couple years ago. The waist trainer wave that was a couple years ago. Well, still going. But, you know, I've jumped onto a lot of different fads and it, you know, it's, I've always watched reviews about them on YouTube, but I never actually like recorded my own. So the next question is, who's your favorite YouTuber? And I think mine is Pockets and Bows. Um, I have so many YouTube channels that I watch religiously. So that's a really tough question 
but i would say like more recently it would be pockets and bowls um because i've been interested in like luxury items and um i've also been interested in trying to like elevate my own personal style since it's pretty boring but um you know there's so many others in addition to britney that i watch you know it really just depends on what it is that i'm like looking up if that makes sense so if i'm looking up like exercise videos i probably look up i think her name's nene or nene d there's kira lachey if i'm gonna look up like hair videos or makeup tutorials there's just different people for different topics of interest to me so after Pax and Bowls, I would say one of my next favorite YouTubers would probably be Jasmine Buller. Like I started watching her channel probably either earlier this year or the end of last year. I feel like it was earlier this year. And that was just simply from searching the YouTube engine. Just I started to wonder like, how do I like mix fragrances together so i started watching layering videos with just perfumes and then you know it just recommends videos so um i she popped up so i started watching one and i was hooked ever since what does your username mean my username is just plain jane and honestly plain jane had been my instagram handler for years probably since like 2017 i want to say and i i literally just consider myself a plain jane like i'm usually so incognito so under the radar it doesn't really look like it does it though but <laughs> i usually really consider myself to be just you know cool calm collected for the most part um i usually wear a lot of black <laughs> black t-shirts like i probably own like 20 of them pretty much black t-shirts i might do like gray or like a new taupe color might throw like some polka dots in there if i'm feeling a little froggy um jeans leggings sneakers i'm pretty basic with clothes so um, but I like to jazz it up with accessories. Like I'll be wearing all black and then I'll throw this on or like, um, a, a fun purse, you know, something that has a little pop of color to it. So I'm okay with adding color to my accessories, but my wardrobe for the most part, it's pretty basic, pretty plain. That's why I call myself plain Jane. What is the best thing about YouTube? I love YouTube because I can access so many different things that I'm looking for. So for example, if I'm gonna look up a new recipe or if I need to figure out how to do something, um, I can run to YouTube. I've used YouTube to figure out how to get the knob off the, um, to the coolant on my car, to figuring out how to put this um, little thing on my Ninja grill, to figuring out how to take off my wiper blades, okay? to meal prepping, coming up with um, an exercise plan, um, watching reviews on items that I'm interested in buying, so many different things. What is the worst thing about YouTube? I think the worst thing in my opinion about YouTube is people having the audacity. And I'm gonna just leave that there. What is one thing you've learned since starting your YouTube channel? I have learned how to be a better subscriber, honestly, because before I actually started my channel, I never commented on anyone's videos. I could literally watch every single one of their videos and I would never comment. You know, I'd watch it, enjoy it, and move on to the next video. Since I started making videos, it's made me more cognizant of how important it is to engage as a viewer and a subscriber, and how important it is to subscribe, because that's showing that you support their videos. Like, it makes no sense for me to sit there and watch three of your videos back to back and not subscribe. Hint, <laughs> hint, wink, wink. <laughs> Seeing from this end as I'm posting content and 
trying to get people to engage with me, it made me realize how important it is for me to do that to those people that I subscribe to. So now I try to make a conscious effort to leave some type of comment if I can, you know, if I find something that, you know, I want to comment on, I will actually type it down and, you know, submit the comment or ask a question if I want to. Um, or I, you know, you know, you like the videos and all that. So being a content creator now has taught me how to be a better subscriber. Any advice to new YouTubers? Um, the advice is the same thing that I've seen over and over again is there's never going to be a right time to start. So just start. There's been so many times I wanted to start doing a YouTube channel for years and I never did it. You know, there was always an excuse, you know, um, I used to be a driver. So I am like, well, how, you know, how am I going to do that? And then I went back to school and I was like, well, how am I going to juggle the time? And then I started a new job and I was like, well, I got this to do. And then, um, I was trying to be a little more diligent with studying for the CPA exam. And then, so I had that and I was like, well, the pandemic happened and you know, then I put on all this weight. So, and you know, and I'm not so comfortable in front of anybody's camera. So there's always going to be something, you know, for you to say, well, I'm just going to wait a little longer and I will just let you know, there's just never going to be a right time. So if you're interested in creating content and, you know, doing YouTube videos, then just do it, you know, and have fun doing it. You know, um, that's one thing I've said in another video, just, just make sure you're having fun doing it and take breaks when you need to take a break. That's my advice for a new YouTuber. So there's never going to be a right time. So just, you know, do it. So this is my attempt at the new YouTuber tag. I hope you were able to uh, learn a little bit more about me. Um, I could be interested in doing some other type of Q&A in the future. So if you're interested in that, then definitely leave some questions and comments below. Again, feel free to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.